Hi, I'm Melissa Clark from the Dining Section, and I'm going to show you how to toss together a perfect vinaigrette. The first thing you want to put in your bowl is your acid and your salt. Your acid can be lemon juice, it could be another kind of citrus juice, it could be any kind of vinegar that you like, balsamic, red wine, white wine, as long as it has a little bit of a tartness, it's going to work. The reason that you want to combine your acid and salt right from the beginning is because the acid helps dissolve the salt. Next step, add whatever aromatics you plan on using. You could use shallot, you could use onion, scallion. Me, I'm a garlic fanatic, so I use finely chopped garlic. Next up, if you like anchovies, you can go ahead and add them now. Always add your aromatics before you add your oil. And the reason is that the acid helps extract the flavor from them. Even if you throw them in 10 seconds before, it's going to make a difference. At this point, you could just go ahead and whisk in your oil, you'd have a fine dressing. But if you want a really thick and creamy dressing, you might want to add a little bit of mustard. Because what mustard does is help the oil emulsify with the lemon juice or the vinegar. And don't forget the pepper. My rule of thumb for pepper, keep turning till your arm gets tired. Now that I have all my seasonings in the bowl, I'm going to add my oil. And the trick to making a really creamy dressing is to add it little by little while you're whisking at the same time. Again, that helps the emulsification. Can you see this coming together? How nice and creamy it is? And there you have it, salad dressing. Very important step. You have to check for seasonings. It's good. The vinaigrette should taste a little bit strong, stronger than you want it, because when you add it to the salad, it becomes dilute. Now, if you taste it and it's not quite salty enough, don't add salt at this point. Add salt after you put it on the salad. And the reason for that is, if you add the salt when the oil's already stirred in, the oil in the vinaigrette is going to inhibit it from dissolving and it's going to take a long time to dissolve. And so you might end up adding too much salt. You have more control if you do it later. There's another way to make a vinaigrette. It's a little bit easier. It's called the jar method. So what I've got here is a jar filled with the same vinaigrette ingredients as in my bowl. I've got my acid, in this case vinegar, salt, garlic, anchovy, mustard, and oil. And now the fun part. Shake, 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 shake. Until it emulsifies and starts to come together. Ta-da! Salad dressing. If you don't feel like making a vinaigrette at all, you're so tired after work, you just want your salad and you want it now, and you think, you could just go for the bottle dressing on the side of the fridge, but you don't have to. You can toss a dressing directly on the salad in about 10 seconds. So you've got your washed greens in the bowl, and then what you do is you drizzle on first a little bit of vinegar or lemon juice, then a little bit of salt, and then you toss that together really well so that the vinegar coats the salad leaves, and then you toss in your oil. The only downside to the toss it in the bowl method is that it's hard to add mustard because it doesn't really get incorporated, so just leave it out. But if you want to add a little chopped garlic, a little chopped anchovy, just make sure to do it before you add the oil. So first you want to add your vinegar. Put your thumb over the top of the bottle so that it dribbles out and you don't get too much. And drizzle it on. And then a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then toss, toss, toss. Best salad tossers ever, clean hands. This way you can really feel when each leaf is coated with vinegar. The best part about being the cook, it's a perfect excuse to get your hands dirty. It's like finger painting, I love this. Ooh. Of course, if you're a clean hands type of person, salad tongs, regular tongs, salad tossers, whatever you got. Okay, once you've got your um, salt and your vinegar on, just taste a leaf and make sure there's enough salt, there's enough vinegar. Because now is the time when you want to correct the seasonings. And now we add the oil. So just drizzle it on, toss it at the same time. Just enough to coat the leaves until they're shiny. And the great thing about your hands here is, first of all, the olive oil is really nice and emollient. It feels great. The other thing is you can really tell when you've had just enough oil because you can just feel it right on the leaves. Be careful not to add too much oil or too much vinegar. The worst thing you can do to your beautiful greens is to overdress them. They'll get soggy and wilt in a minute. 
So in case you were wondering, well, how does she do it all by eye? How much oil do you add? How much vinegar do you add? It really depends on the strength of the acid in the vinegar and what kind of oil you're using. The stronger the vinegar, the more oil you need. So for something like lemon juice, you can get away with one part of lemon juice to two parts or three parts olive oil. But if you're using a really intense, strong red wine vinegar, you might want to bump up the oil to maybe three or four parts. Here I'm using olive oil. Olive oil is my go-to oil. It's great on all salads, but you can also use nut oils, fantastic walnut, hazelnut, add a very rich, toasty flavor. Or for something simple and light, use grapeseed or another neutral oil. And that's all there is to it. And this one is mine. See ya.